there, we are Claire and Nick Butcher and we've been together for over 20 years. We used to live in Wiltshire in the UK, with Nick having a background in bathroom sales and myself in hospitality and catering. In 2020, we decided to leave the daily grind to start a new life in France. Eventually, we ended up buying this. It's not officially a chateau, even though the village locals call it one. However, it is just as large and equally as much hard work as a chateau. With a horde of original features and the building having been unoccupied for many years, we are slowly breathing life back into her, whilst frequently still finding the many treasures she holds. Join us on our journey with our dogs, Flora and Merlo, as we renovate our Maison de Maitre, one turret short of a chateau. Today is Sunday, we've finished editing and we're off out and about for a treat. I say a treat. <laughs> it's raining again. If you like water, move to the Charente Maritime. You will see water all the time. And if you don't see water, you'll be on a water ban. <laughs> Where are we off today, my darling? We're off to the local village Christmas market thing. Well, here we are, two minutes down the road at the Salle de Fête. Let's go and have a look. Well, that was quite festive. Lots of things that we didn't really need, <laughs> so we didn't buy. Well, we bought Claire bought something, but I can't show you. And I bought something, which I can show you, which were a grand total of three euros each. We're now on our way to local Christmas market number two. We're obviously expecting this place to be packed. Look at the crowd control barriers. They're rushing to get here. I think this one's in a church and it sounds like a Disney film from the outside at the moment. Mm. I can tell you that I didn't film any of that because it was God awful. <laughs> but it's tat that you can make at home with tat that you have at home if you have the time or the inclination to do so well good morning it is still raining as usual we have the fur children in the back of the car and this week we are going to do something really special. We have not been away together as a couple for two years. I think the last time we went away together was to go to Spain on a driving holiday. Last year, at this time, we were getting ready for all of the family to come over for Christmas. We were trying to finish off the jeet. We were trying to finish off the dining room, prepare for everybody coming and we were running around like, frankly, bellens. Um, we were tired, we were stressed. Um, this year, we thought, you know what? 
sod this. We're going to go away for a couple of nights and we're going to go and do the Christmas markets. First one that we're going to go and do is in Salat Le Canada, which is in the Dordogne. And the second one that we're going to do, we're going to go and do the Christmas market in Bordeaux and also do one of the things off my bucket list, go to the wine museum. I have wanted to go there forever. So, Mr Butcher's just run in to hope you to go and get the fur children some food before they are going off to the little holiday camp. Over here, a dog kennel... <laughs> A dog kennel or dog boarding is called pension. <laughs> so today you are going off to pension. Merlo, you actually look terrified. It's going to be okay. We're going to come back for you. Five minutes later. We have arrived. We've seen where the Christmas market is, but we've not been out because we've been looking for a car parking space because they seem to be like rocking horse poo and it's raining again well we have landed in Sarlat. Nick's actually just gone back to try and repark the car somewhere with the Christmas market in Sarlat, everything's busy and we've just got to our accommodation for the next two nights now I found this on booking.com this is not a sponsored advert or anything, but if you would like to sponsor me, booking.com, you can. And this is a lovely little one bedroom apartment in Sarlat. And outside is this beautiful little square. In here, you've got everything you could really want. You've got television, sofa area. Oh, lots of, lots and lots of lights. Oh, you've always got to try all the lights, haven't you? Uh, lots of reading material on the area. Coffee table, a little bit festive. So here you've got the diner kitchen area. Very nice. Out here, you can't use it because I think it will be that cold. But over here, you have a tiny, tiny little plunge pool and an outside courtyard. But just look, look up. Isn't that absolutely lovely? Even with the rain. I tell you what, this in summer would be amazing. Through here, you have toilet. And then in here, you have a wonderful, wonderful jacuzzi bath. This this didn't sell it for me at all. Yeah, this, this was the selling point. Out here you have the towel rail. Wow, look at that tap. Oh, serious tap envy there. Wow. And then again, you've got this lovely view of this church chapel cathedral around here you've got the bedroom nice wardrobe oh both door heaters just come on look at those lights up there they're funky yeah how cool is this i'm just looking out into this little square and look at those look at those windows up there aren't they awesome it's bang in the middle of sala so everything's in walking distance wow we've left the village i'd say we've now officially arrived on our mini break it's a mini break not a holiday because a holiday in my opinion is where you go to an airport you have a pint of lager at an ungodly hour. You get on a plane, you get off the plane, the heat hits you in the face that it, it's that hot. You go somewhere, you see some things, you ideally sit on a beach where a nice man or woman with a semi-unpronounceable name brings you drinks. That's a holiday. This is a mini break. 
it's going to be nice but just so that there's like a definition between mini break and holiday okay we've just come out and about just been and got a couple of bottles of wine for back at the little apartment and this this is a shop specializing in just foie gras it's another one of those vegemite things marmite things you either love it or hate it I have never seen a staircase like this before and I've got to say I would not want to do that after a few glasses of wine and it smells so old it's amazing all of the lights are on there's music being piped throughout the streets <laughs> I was going to show what was behind us dear but <laughs> I'll get out of the way then <laughs> yeah the umbrella piss off <laughs> <laughs> but yeah isn't it amazing and it's beautiful here and there's hardly anyone here oh look at there oh wow <laughs> look at that I, don't know what it is. I think it's santa coming down the chimney oh yeah well we're in our jeet in uh charlotte and we have we have a little friend here and Claire doesn't think it's cute, but look at it. I think that's lovely. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Sorry, you can, can I get put, past? You, oh! <laughs> we had a little sleep in this morning. Just a little one. Anyway, it's like... We're out enjoying the rain. Yeah, we are. More rain. There's a theme. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like waking up in a Disney movie. There's pipe music throughout the streets and everything's really... golden and... It's like... It's like architectural porn. <laughs> anyway, we're at this little market, which is apparently the Wednesday market. Could say it's hunky dory. So it's not the biggest market in the world. Um, there's a lot of foie gras, there's a lot of truffle products which make me really happy, and there's a lot of walnuts. Um, yeah. Say it's not big, you can walk around it in less than five minutes. Now, because we're on a mini break, and I told you the rules yesterday about mini break versus holiday, we are starting off the day with something special. You can't really say starting off the day because we've had two coffees already, and we came here and thought, Oh, fan sure. <laughs> yes, it is, it is 11 am, <laughs> past 11, moments past, <laughs> and we are starting the day off with a hot wine cheers wherever you are in the world whatever time it is just remember it's christmas <laughs>
like we visited the inside of this church, it's very pretty. And on the plus side, I didn't get set fire to by anything, so. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a cathedral. And it's a cathedral, details. <laughs> actually been to Sarlacc before but we drove here during the pandemic when we were house hunting and we got here and we drove around and nothing was open and we never got out of the car <laughs> and then and then we needed to be back at home by six o'clock because there was curfew but we did say we'd come back one day and um, that day has arrived yes I think we've nearly done everything that you can do in Salat on a rainy day. Apart from this. What are we on, dear? <laughs> We're on a little tourist train. <laughs> <laughs> We did come here last night and we didn't video it because it was miserable. Um, it, this is the Christmas market. Our third. Our oh, third. Keep count. We did almost. What you got? Hot cider. Hot cider. Mm. I got wine. Come <laughs> wine. We've had a nice time. Nice quick trip around the Christmas market. I think you've had enough. I've had enough. <laughs> <laughs> if you're ever lucky enough to stay in Salatla, Canada at 10 past 7 on the morning they like to do bell ringing all good things must come to an end and our time in Salat is over uh, it's been really really nice apart from the church bells at 7.10 this morning that was taking the proverbial anyway on to our next destination which will be Bordeaux way to Bergerac we're gonna stop there for lunch um, just stopped off in a little, very very scenic little place riverside although the river is looking particularly um, full at the moment but uh, yeah very little place uh, pretty place Bainac a Kazanac
waiting, there's lots of cars, there's lots of traffic. Well, we're at the first stop in Bordeaux and uh, we stopped here, which uh, is the Basin de Lumiere, which is being an exhibition inside the submarine pens that from World War II that are here. I'll go with the English leaflet. <laughs> well, you know, at least another dad, we could have a bit of Spanish. Oh, wow, look at the door. wasn't it? It was different, yeah. It was quite cool. Uh, Pink Floyd music playing with animations of Dali stuff, which is a bit weird, but there we go. It was really, I really enjoyed it. I think that if, mm, I think that if you'd maybe have taken a load of LSD, <laughs> <coughs> that would have been really cool. <laughs> As with any couple, when you have a mini break, there is one who likes to sleep in, and there is the other one. Why are we in Bordeaux? Is it to stay in a room in bed or to get up and enjoy the city? I think it's more you and this breakfast obsession whenever we come away. Yeah, look. <laughs> and this is the view from our room. Today is the day. <laughs> Seize the day. This is wine of the week. This is wine of the forever. <laughs> forever. I've been wanting to come here for quite a few years and we'd booked before and then the whole like pandemic malarkey happened. So this is long overdue. Ladies and gents, the city divan in Bordeaux. How many hours of learning? Three. three. Three hours of learning about wine. You really enjoyed that, didn't you? 
we are having lunch on the seventh floor of the wine museum in a restaurant called Seven. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Sun shining. Yep, sun shining. Having a cocktail to start with. And look at that view over the river. Lunch was, lunch was overpriced. <laughs> it was all right. We had two courses and yeah, sort of saved some we room for wine. You. You've had that, had that for free. Yeah. Mm. What more would you want? Anyway, now on the eighth floor, um, we've come up to admire the view and have a glass of wine. Here is an idea of what you can do with all of your empties at home. No. No? <laughs> well, until just now, I didn't know that it even existed. This is a glass of Ukrainian wine from Zaporizhia, so... Um, Tickets to the City Divan are 22 euros each and it includes a glass of wine. Do you think that was good value for money? I did actually, yeah. Good. For quite a good. few hours of entertainment. Cheers. I was suckered in by the adult gift shop. Wow. But I am going to share it with my father-in-law when he gets here, because he likes wine and I like wine. Well, here we are, just trying to avoid being run over by trams. They're everywhere. Come on in, quick, 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 quick. Ah! Right, um, well, we finished wine. Not wobbly actually, so that's all right. Uh, we've headed back into the centre of Bordeaux because Christmas market number four. <laughs> wow, look at this. the beautiful wines I have tried today and wow I have tried some magnificent wines I am now having a mulled wine in a plastic glass and I'm having some Basque beer in a
Well, I think we're both feeling really festive. I saw Santa. I think. Yeah. I think after four. It's time to call it quits now. <laughs> so, uh, let's go find some other things to do in Bordeaux. done a bit of shopping as you do at Christmas time. I can't show you where because it might be for you. Off for a cocktail now, just for something different. Where we are. <laughs> do you? Yeah, I know. How do you know where we are? Because I've got this hazy memory of me and Mel coming here and it's just over here on the left. Ah, well there we go. We are inside the cocktail bar and isn't this cool? It's very rustic. I have a drink called the Orient Express and I cannot remember what was in it, but it sounded good. And I have this little concoction. And with that, we are signing off for this evening and we will see you tomorrow. Well, thank you for coming with us this week on our grand tour. We hope that you enjoyed watching. More of a putty tour. Yeah, as I said, it's a mini break, not a holiday. If you've enjoyed this week's episode, please click the like button. And if you've not done so already, please consider subscribing. It's free. <laughs> you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Or on our website at www.theexpatbutchers.com. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.